Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all of you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to explore a little bit of experiment. So, I would like to test uh, the analog uh, read serial together with the functions uh, we call it as a switch case. So, what I I would like to discover today is basically uh, how you can control uh, different cases basis on the action uh, from your Arduino Uno. So let us begin to the setup of this uh, particular breadboard and then we are going to learn about the code and see the action. Okay, so first of all, uh, what I have here is basically an Arduino Uno. So an Arduino Uno is already attached with the breadboard over here. And then I'm going to use the resistor. So this is the resistor. The resistor are going to be positioned in any free spaces like this. Okay, and then I'm going to insert my light dependent resistor in series together with the leg of my uh, resistor over there. So you can see it is parallel with my resistor and then one end is open and then another end of my resistor is open. Then I'm going to insert one end of the resistor to the uh, VCC or we call it as a 5 volt from the Arduino and then another one which is I'm going to insert another jumper wire over here into our um, ground okay so the layout are very straightforward so what you have here is the ground and then what you have here is the VCC so one VCC go to the resistor one, one another uh, VCC one ground go to your resistor and then another one which is the VCC are going to your another leg of your um, LDR and then I'm going to insert another a little bit of uh, longer jumper wire over here and then put insert in the middle of the section intersection of it so this is called voltage divider and then I'm going to insert the voltage divider into my AO so the AO are going to be my analog read function so I'm going to read the light dependent resistor over here and then we are going to determine what is the value and after that we are also going to make the switch case uh, process so that you can benefit uh, from this exercise Ladies and gentlemen so the first one we can open up our sketch you can just open it from the example here go to basics and then go to your analog read serial so our analog read serial are basically a setup where we are going to read the analog functions at the AO which is in this case I already attached my analog AO with our LDR setup okay so this is our analog A0 where I going to attach it and we are going to make manipulation based on the exposure of the light uh, for this LDR and then we are going to observe the values are going to be output from the serial so after you open up uh, this blank sketch you can just go for the tools and then uh, proceed to the selection of the port and you can straight away upload the code our code are already upload inside our Arduino then you can open your serial monitor on the top right of the corner and then you can see this is the value of my Arduino LDR so we have to change the port rate uh, to corresponding um, values which is 9600 okay let me just clear the output over here and then you can see that the maximum number or the maximum values recorded by the daylight over here is basically 886 okay. and perhaps you can also uh, observe the change when we um, touch or just uh, close down a little bit okay so my hand is actually um, covering the LDR at the moment so we can see the change uh, in terms of the values it's quite responsive so we are going to use the switch case sensor sketch from the Arduino tutorial built-in example so in this sketch if you can see over here we got a constant we are going we are going to set as the constant um, sensor minimum which is zero and then maximum will be eight eight seven just now we already test it right and then we are going to uh, initialize the serial begin so that we can see the output from our serial monitor after this and then we are going to also set up the initialized sensor reading where the integer sensor reading is equal to analog read a0 
and then we are going to use the map function under the Arduino as follows which is the integer range is equal to map sensor reading sensor uh, minimum sensor maximum at the 0 and 3 so we are going to have at least 4 cases so the 0, 1, 2 and 3 is considered 4 cases so the cases 0 will be as follows where we are going to identify it as a dark because we are mapping it from the sensor minimum into the sensor maximum as 0 to 3 so therefore we are having these three uh, another cases which is uh, as follows which is uh, case 1 is dim case 2 is medium and then case 3 is bright which is it is open up all the light into our light dependent register so to simulate the action uh, from this particular examples i would like to upload the code first okay remember to change your sensor to minimum and sensor maximum as follows so that you can see uh, because sometimes the LDR are not similar from one manufacturer to another manufacturer when you bought it in bulk okay therefore you need to individually test it and of course the direct sunlight and also the artificial light from your lamp uh, possibly differ also therefore you need to uh, know and understand the maximum values that can be recorded or that can be uh, captured uh, in our um, analog read serial just now okay you can open up the serial monitor and i made a modification over here to indicate the value and also uh, the numbers uh, indicated um, over here you can see that uh, it's also indicate the high low medium dim or bright or even dark and also together with the values so the values over here is actually the adc value it is not uh, map uh, towards a certain values that are can be understand by the majority of the application for example you want to calibrate it as according to your uh, light meter or lux meter that is a different story so let me just cover it up a little bit like this okay when we uh, cover the light dependent register the values are going to be changed uh, together with also the notation over there you see it's become dim and then in fact if i um, going to close it it's become dark okay if I open up a little bit, it's become dark, medium, and something like that. And if my, my hands are open it wide, so it's become uh, so bright. And in fact, um, if I uh, just uh, manipulate it according to the certain uh, shadow over here, uh, the change also are going to be happen uh, according to your preference of setup in the in my cable. And then I'm going to open up my cool term cool term is a very helpful uh, in terms of capturing the data so i'm going to go for the options over here okay let me uh, set my application first okay so when you connect it you can see that uh, it is already record the time date and also the status so this is a very clever idea if you are trying to make a light assessment mapping something like that when you are locating your sensor to a specific place and then you record it in a continuous manner and in fact if you got a change uh, with regard to the values uh, or the shadow or some um, not bright conditions or some uh, problem with regard to the light conditions that go into your area so it's straight away being recorded here so you can also log it or you can just leave it like this and then you can click the save button to overall um, save the output from this sensor this video is very helpful then please help me with this three click the first one please do like this video and then the second one share it with your friend and family and the most important thing is please do subscribe so that you will not miss our future updates with that thank you very much for watching and see you again next time bye bye